Right. Hi everyone, it's Mel from Sweeney Hire and today we're just going to talk about some pros when hiring the chipper trailer that you might not have considered. So um, number one, it is it actually holds more than our tipper trucks. It holds approximately 2.4 ton. Yeah, 2.4 ton. Mm -hmm. um, whereas the tipper trucks, one is 1.7 and one is 1.9. Um, you've also got the option, we've got the cage that's stacked up there where you can put the cage up. We have a video on that as well if you need to see how to assemble that. If you're taking something bulkier, like you might want to use it to move furniture. Some people have used it to get trees and plant trees. Um, mulch from our local Shire um, Waste Management is a good one because our Shire gives it away for free. So we've had quite a few people book it for that. Um, you know if you want to get timber for winter soil sand rock um whatever the case may be depending on like obviously it makes no sense to pay that extra 20 dollars for the cage if you're going to move sand because that's not going to happen um so you can save yourself that cost um another good thing about this one is if you are hiring an excavator you can put the excavator or the bobcat or the posse track on top it's got some ramps it could be used for some moving some smaller um, vehicles. Um, not anything like an Everest, but if you had a small car, as long as it meets the measurements, which I believe is 2.2 wide by 3.6 long. Um, so how does it work? So it is a um, battery operated tipper trailer, hydraulic. Um, we charge it up before you hire it out and then you can come over here. It's okay. So you just come over here <laughs> to this little box and you open it up. Um, we keep the charger in the back. So if you do keep it for a couple of days, probably best if you charge it overnight. You can just get this little plug and it's plug in here. I don't know if Seth, if you can see that because it's over here. Um, so just get this little thing, plug it in there plug that into a normal plug and then you'll see it go up we have it already preset um, then to start the tipper trailer we've got an isolator and you twist you have to push it in and then turn it up um, and then it's really easy it's really long too if you need to step out of the way first obviously you'd open up the door but so if this is on nothing will happen and i made that mistake before <laughs> and i hand pumped so hand pumping is an option so you twist that off then obviously up and, up. and it goes up quite a good bit this needs to be charged today so it will be a little bit slower and you can see the battery and you can see the um just make sure where you are tipping it that you look up and make sure there's no electricity, phone line, anything like that. Um, but you can see that it goes up quite a bit. this one does need a bit of a charge so um, it would normally go up a little bit quicker than that but you'll have weight on as well and then depending on what you have if you're tipping like sand will weigh more than what, for example Press your stop button, roll it back 
cob. And then I'll just cut to taking that out and I'll keep rolling while I'm talking. And um, another thing is if, so this trailer will do between seven and nine loads to a battery. So you should be able to get the day out of it, depending on how far your run is between point A and point B. Um, if you have issues or you get to the end of the day, manual override, I think you have to um, so I'll pop this back in and then we'll talk about this little lever here. There's a little red twisty button knob and sometimes um, you might need to open it up. So you turn it to the left or down to open and to the right to close it. Um, and sometimes that can affect tipping. Um, as well sometimes if you do overload you might need to hand pump that initial to then get the the battery power to go the rest of the way up so that's that um, and then we'll go around the back and i'll just show you how to open it but it's got five sections you can open all of these if you do need to you know, load up bricks or concrete, uh, types of concrete or whatever with a forklift. And they're quite wide as well, so a forklift can get on there. We use the two attachments and stuff. Um, and then the tipper trailer bit. You just open this out. And then it just opens up. Obviously, if it's something like sand or rock or wood chips, like this is perfect. If it is tree stumps or bulky material, just pop this off. Now, unfortunately, I only thought of this now, but if you do want to take out and apply the ramps, um, I have no space here, but basically you do one at a time, you slide that to the left or to the right, pull these out, and then you place them on this. But look at, like if you have your machine say here, I know like the ramps would be longer, but line up your machine first, then get your ramps, and then you can use the machine where it's sitting to then know where to place the ramps. So you can make sure the ramps are not too wide or not too um, narrow. So you're nice and safe getting up and down off the machine. Um, yeah. What else? You wanted advantages, didn't you? I've, I've gone in between like a how to use a tipper trailer and um, it's kind of like two videos in one, isn't it? Yeah, but you can break it up in two. Yeah, hopefully. It has to flow though break it up into two properly um so some other advantages of the chipper trailer the back door is removable so if you do want to take off um bulkier items if it's sand or whatever you can just open it up so i've just taken it off for another video but we'll um, pop it back on and i'll show you in reverse <laughs> if it is like wood, like your timber for winter, or if you brought a load of like stuff to the landfill, you take off the whole door. If it's something like sand, mulch, you can just let swing like this um, and let that just drop out. And then to close it. Um, another advantage is we've got the ramps underneath so okay you might not be um, firing a machine from us but maybe you're wheelbarrowing sand or clean fill in and you want to use the ramp to wheelbarrow up to the top of the land of the um, trailer what else did we say fuel. Hmm? Fuel. fuel oh yeah so I know that's um, the one of the biggest advantage of the trailer versus the truck is um, add-on expenses so we've got no refuel fee with this one you don't have like a charging fee or anything 
the only thing would be if you have it for a few days you might want to charge it up overnight to make sure you have any, enough juice for tipping um there's no wear and tear cost with the tipper trucks you pay you get 100 kilometers free and then you pay 20 cent per kilometer after that for wear and tear no refuel costs um, um bonus one you obviously get the trailer and the machine and you're not contending with having a plant trailer on site because you're using the tipper trailer to cart your stuff instead of say having a skip bin or something so that makes your job site a little bit tidier but that's all we can think of for now so that's all for now um if you have any uses you would like to add let us know in the comments below make sure you smash that subscribe button and um, we'll catch you next time thanks for watching cheers